So, do you guys ever? This is this is how you know when you're, I guess, a true, quote unquote, sneakerhead. Do you guys ever like have seller's remorse about things? Now, maybe I didn't put that the right way because a lot of us have probably sold a pair of shoes before. And then the price skyrockets uh, on the resale market for me. Like, dang, I wish I would have kept them, uh, you know, for another six months or whatever or a year. And, uh, you know, I could have got twice as much out of them. But it's not so much as the, you know, the the price tag on the shoes as it is actually just liking the shoe. So here's what happened to me today. I had put some shoes on StockX to get rid of. Uh, because I haven't been wearing them and they need to go to a, to a home where some folks are going to wear them. Uh, I do wear my shoes, but I can't get around to wearing everything that I have. Um, so, you know, I keep a certain amount of shoes in the rotation. The pair of shoes that I sold was actually one of the one of my favorite pairs of shoes that I have in my in my in my shoe room. And that was the UNC Jordan 3s. I got them uh, back in March, I think of last year. Uh, and I just haven't worn them yet. I haven't worn like any of my threes. I've been wearing a lot of ones lately. I've been wearing a lot of my dunks lately. So I didn't have any use for them. And I'll just tell y'all straight up, they were going on StockX for like $500. And I was like, why not just sell them, you know? So I ended up getting rid of those. I also sold a couple of pair of Jordans uh, today. I don't know. I'm cleaning out a little bit, getting rid of some things, putting it in the PayPal account, transferring it back over to the, to the bank account, you know, so I can keep bringing videos of some fresh shoes. And speaking of fresh shoes, I've got some today. Hey, it's Jamin. And I hope you guys are having a great week. Uh, to, this is Thanksgiving week. So, um, I do plan on having two more videos, two or three more videos. Thanksgiving is on Thursday. Um, so I'm at least going to have one more video for y'all tomorrow. I've got some unboxings to do uh, of some some shoes that are that are pretty cool, man. So, uh, you know, if you enjoy sneakers, you enjoy talking about shoes, you're not about all that drama that, that goes on in a, in a lot of YouTube channels these days. I don't know when we just got away from just talking about shoes, unboxing shoes, and taking a look at them. I feel like sometimes people that create content kind of get bored with what they do and, and so they branch out into different subjects or they tend to follow what what others are doing i've said this before on this channel we're going to talk about shoes and we're going to talk about men's fragrances and that's it man i'm not getting involved in all of the drama and, and everything else that's going on uh in the world uh that's depressing and uh you know you guys can get that news elsewhere if you want that but we're going to talk about shoes so let's get into this one this is a special one right here gonna give y'all a hint look at the name of this company that this came from ALD Inc ALD Inc this did not come from Nike okay you don't see the the tape and Nike quit using that just still it tape which is which is cool I've been wanting them to do that I think everybody's been wanting them to do that but this box actually opens up from the side so let's do the one-handed unboxing real quick we got that we got that and we got that one-handed box boxing completed let's get this bad boy open now nope I thought it may have something on the side of the box that kind of gave away what this was but it did not so we're just gonna pull this bad boy straight on out get it here and there we go so this was a hit for me. I have not hit on a collab designer shoe in a while. I hit on the, um, I mean, dunks. Yeah, I've hit on dunks like uh, the strawberry milks and things like that. But a collab like this, like Ama Manier or Amy Leon Dore, I have not hit on any of these uh, yet. I'm hoping to hit on the the Ama Manier ones that are coming out uh, this Saturday, I believe. But this is a pair of New Balance right here. Okay, so this is a New Balance uh, Amy Leon Dor collab. As you can see, the box this is a like a uh, uh, army green. Okay, so this is an army green color right here on the box. Let's check out the size. I did hit on this on the on the website, by the way, when they did the drop. Size tag reads uh, men's eleven and a half does not have 
uh, colorway on it. I'm used to colorways. This is the first pair of New Balance I've got in the collection. I wanted to get those uh, water shoes. What were those? Uh, Benbury, Benbury? I think, I think I'm saying that right. Anyway, Water Be The Guide or something like that. I really wanted those shoes. Those were fire, man. They're reselling for like 500. And I don't want to take my 500 that I just made off of my UNCs and get those when I got these. Let's check these guys out, opening up the box right here. It is a very kind of premium box, uh, very thick. Not, not your standard uh, Nike box, so to speak. So the very thick box there feels really good. Uh, got regular wax paper right here. And the shoe, the bam, there it is. This is the New Balance. I can get the guy out of the paper here. This is a New Balance. Is this a 992? I'm gonna say it's a 992. You don't quote me on that. 993. One digit off, y'all. One digit off. But look, let's get them both out of the box. This colorway is known as the Beef and Broccoli. They did have another colorway that was kind of a salt color in blue that I believe was more limited just based on the value that they're going for on the resale market. Yeah, there's the 993 again. But uh, yeah, let's take them out, man, and get a closer look at them. These are, these are super nice, guys. Y'all hang on. Quick thing I did want to show you guys is on the paper right here. You do have New Balance. Just for y'all, you know, legit checkers or anybody buying them online, um, you know, you want to make sure that, that you're getting the, the real deal, I guess. Uh, you know, and it's got the Amy Leon door there on the on the paper as well. So, just wanted to give you guys a look at the paper. I do not see any. There, yeah, there's no quality check stickers on the inside of the box. So, now that we've got them out, let's set them up here, get a better look at the shoe. It does come with spare set of laces right here. So you've got this brown and green, it looks like. Yeah, or is that, that is wild looking. Y'all see that? Is that two spare sets of laces or one and it's just the light reflecting? It looks like two different sets. So you've got the black pair of laces that's in the shoe. You've got what looks like a just a standard brown and then you've got a like a brown and green color right there. So you get three sets of laces with these shoes, guys. Now, getting to the shoe. On the bottom right here, you've got your New Balance branding. Looks like it does have some great traction. Y'all, I'm not the, the, the guru when it comes to New Balance. Like I said, this is the first one that I've got in a long time, besides the ones that I used to cut the grass in. You know what I'm saying? That I picked up from Payless. Uh, <laughs> these guys right here. You do have Endurance, which is I, I'm assuming is the uh, technology in the shoe, okay? Right here on the side, you've got, uh, what's that say, DTS, okay, right there. On the midsole, going around, there's there's a look at your midsole. I like the, I like all the, uh, you know, the carvings on the midsole. It really, you know, has great definition to it. It is a brown, is that a brown? Yeah, it is a brown right there. Going up against this, you know, lighter, ooh, Lord, have mercy nose. Look at that suede, man. Woo, fire. I didn't even, like I was like that and I was like, is something wrong with my shoe? It looked like a big scrape on it, but it's not. It's just that leather, or that, that, that suede is super soft. On the back right here, you do have New Balance branding and it is in this clear coat, this plastic right here. And that kind of sets it off too. I really like the way that looks. You, you do have the Amy Leon door uh, patch on the back right there. You've got some stitching going around that to kind of set it off, right? So that's, that's, I was trying to see, that's almost, it almost feels like denim or something, man. I, I don't know, what, I don't know what material that is, but it's, it feels like denim. And then getting to your upper, you have, a, you have a mesh right here on the toe box. So this shoe, I imagine, would be pretty breathable. Um, you have green, well, it feels like leather, or maybe nubuck right here, running throughout the toe box and on the sides. Um, your New Balance logo right here, is actually in leather and it's outlined in that black so it's that green and that black hence you know green and brown like this and black beef and broccoli y'all beef and broccoli um, you do have a mesh right here around the sock liner um, your your eyelets right here have that suede all the way around guys look at the look at the suede on that 
very, very premium materials used on this guy. And I want to say this one's actually going. If you guys like this colorway, and I, I think it's a great looking fall time shoe, if you like this colorway, I want to say you can pick it up on StockX right now for damn near retail. You may pay $20 to $30 over retail, but it's not that much over retail right now. So if you want to go after these, go ahead and go after them. Treat yourself, man. It's the holidays. The tongue right here, you do have a nice plush thick tongue. You've got that mesh coming up from the bottom down here. And then you've got this patch of, uh, you know, new buck right here. Uh, it says New Balance, made in the USA. You got that 993. I don't know if y'all can catch that or not, but it looks like it's got the American flag printed back there behind it. Then you've got another New Balance N right there logo. You do have some stitching around this as well. There's a little bit of piece coming off right there. Not Nothing the fingernail clippers can't, can't take off, but I, I like the way they put the flag back here in the background of that. Uh, and it's got Made in the USA right here. That's pretty, pretty slick of them. On the inside right here, it is black. You have the Amy Leon Dor logo down in there, and that looks, almost looks like, the, whoa, that thing is soft. Guys, these feel like, and I, I'm probably wrong on this, so don't beat me up. These feel like, almost like ortholite or something, or memory foam. I mean, it, it feels super, super plush down in that sock liner. So I imagine this shoe, with this tongue being as thick as it is, your sock liner is not really that thick, okay? But it does feel premium. And that is in black as well. But this shoe, I, I imagine, I haven't put them on yet. I haven't put them on feet. But I imagine they're, they're pretty damn comfortable just by feeling the inside of them. But guys, I can't get over the quality of the leather, of the suede right here. I mean, it's, it's immaculate. And you would think, you know, with this being a designer shoe, that it would be that way. So that's it. This is a new... Well, now you've got something back here too that's not a pull tab it looks like it would come off and be a pull tab for the shoe but it's not uh but yeah that's a quick look again of the new balance amy leon door 993s you've got all of these different laces i may go with that with that uh brown and green in these guys man i think that would look good i'm definitely keeping these i'm not going to resell them because like i said earlier this is on my only pair of new balances i have and i did get lucky enough to hit on the uh to hit on the um actual website for these guys but that's it man thanks for spending time with me today i appreciate it like i said i got another video coming tomorrow we're going to do another unboxing we've got a, a couple of pairs of shoes that came in over the past few days that i want to get to so if you enjoy sneakers you enjoy men's fragrances and you like to just take your mind off of things and just hang out with us for a little while we got a great community over here thanks to all the new subscribers i've been seeing you guys i've seen y'all come in and comment uh, I've seen, I've got the emails where you subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate you until all of my people that's, you know, been on the channel and been, uh, you know, been subscribed to the community. I appreciate you guys as well. Much love to each and every one of y'all. Hope y'all have a great week. It's Jamin. I'm signing out until next time. Y'all stay safe out there. Peace.